of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her.
You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear. Runs far. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. There's no going back. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering, there's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Focus. Look closer. Look. Use your eyes. Why isn't she looking closer? She needs to look closer. Focus. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Hunger 
which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim. in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, dearly What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? She's doing this for him. She needs to rescue him. He's already dead. His soul still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants his soul to be at the bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel.
Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Listen. I was just hiding. If I live longer that way. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. It worked. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She was trying to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real.
waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just push things away. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain.
a vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. Yeah. 